Figured it was about time. Did you did you see that we saw Das Hibbit earlier from the old colony? A masterwork dining room chair. Beautiful. Let's read about it. Freedom for Fire Fistus. This furniture bears a portrayal of Veronica Fire Fistus Bird receiving training for construction skills while covered in sweat. Two owls watch with amazement. If you squint your eyes, the well-balanced composition of the image reveals the outline of a monster. The work seems to represent murder. This artwork refers to Fire Fist as becoming a master at construction tasks on the 11th of Jugist, 5510. What? Sure. Hi, Miss Jesse. How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you today. I hope you're well. <clears throat> Here's our oddly shaped colony. Do we have anything else here that we can dig out? We got some more steel that we can grab here. And then we can probably continue out this way. And search for more. Got a nice little dent made. Look at that square dent. Miss Jesse, how are you? How are things? Discord joined. Awesome. There's a little thing you got to click through on the rules and, and whatnot to kind of see all the channels. Just react to all of them if you want. Unless you're squeamish about insects, then don't react with the ant. But I think you should be fine. Hi, Terra Cap. Got home from work. Awesome. How was work? And how are you? Got a new game because reasons, and I love it. And if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. What game is it? Goju, Goju's withdrawal. Yep, there he goes. Das Hibbit, you're addicted to Goju's, my friends. But it's okay. We'll take care of you by laughing at you. Uh, flat screen televisions. Put this in the hospital. Oh, this isn't the mega screen. Oh. At us. Well, that's a shame, huh? Chat test. Hi. Timberborn. Why does that sound familiar? What's the game about, Miss Jesse? Tell me. Work was pretty good. Gotta make some money, right? Hell yeah. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I gotta make some money. It feels like a you game, okay? Is it a colony sim? Is it... Yeah, that happens on mobile sometimes, Jack. Hi, Shadow Girl, welcome in. How are you today? All right, got the hydroponics all online. It's Rimworld after all the people have died and only beavers are left. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Do you like beavers, Miss Jessie? That sounds really weird. I mean this with the best intentions possible. You can actually catch the stream. Awesome. All right, let's redesign this a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one. All right. So, stockpile zone here. Expand it out to here. Expand it out to there. Expand it out to here. This is going to be... I'm going to say preferred. Meals, meals, meals. It's going to be our fine meals only. Fine meal, fine meal, fine meal. Right? 
This is going to be fine dining. Now, I'm going to shrink over here. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. That's 20. Okay, we're going to do a new stockpile zone over here. We're going to expand that way and that way. We're going to clear. Preferred. This is going to be simple meals and nutrient paste meals. This is going to be simple eating. And then over here, I want to shrink this by, I only want to go this much. Expand this out to here, make it preferred. And this is going to be our lavish meals. I think I missed something in our package survival meals. I got it, I got it there. Okay. Let's count the check marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three, six, eight. What am I missing? Actual lavish meal. Okay, we did it. Lavish dining. All right, and then this is not going to have any meals. That's important. Uh, let's make this preferred and make these important. Hide, hide, hide. There we go. Hi, first time viewer, but interested in game? Hard learning curve? J Sims, it can be as hard or as easy as you want it to be, but yes. Um, anyone can pick it up and play it and you can do very well in it, but once you start learning the intricacies, you, you begin making the game a lot harder. But it's a great game. If you plan on picking it up and you don't have anybody directly to support, might I suggest going through the Humble Bundle you're paying the same price as on Steam, but you get to support me and a charity at the same time. Because the game hardly goes on sale. So, if you're going to buy any game at full price, use that link and help me out. That's my one time I get to plug myself. You've been using my code on the Epic Game Store? Awesome. Thank you, sir. Surprised you're not using codes. Still lurking, but you sent me on a bit of a hot ones binge. Don't worry, you're not muted. I know that somehow matters in the algorithm or something. I just watched Gordon Ramsay cry for 20 minutes. It was great. Gordon Ramsay's interview was really good too. He was very straightforward and honest. I, I like how honest they are on that show because the, the hotness of everything gets them to kind of lower their guard a bit. And I, I love that. I was up until you got my hand up until I got a code. Thank you, Don Simmons. Your name on Discord is Rhino, because that's your icon. Cool. No worries. Shadow Girl, I'm glad you get to catch me. Thanks for being here. So, Miss Jessie, I I'm going to look into that, because I don't know what to think of it from what you told me. But I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Das Hibbit, do you just get free games on there? Or do you actually buy stuff off of there? Got that one over there. There's a component. More steel. Yeah, we've got plenty of steel now. So we should be good on steel for a while. Let's uh, go 3x since we're smoothing out walls. Free games mostly as of late. Cool. Well, good looking out for me, dude. Even if it's for free ones. You're not against giving them money? I'm not against giving them money either. Man, we're actually really comfortable right now in the base. Things are things are pretty good at the moment. We got Kamipulu trying to mine. Go, Kamipulu, go. 
Look at him go. <laughs> uh, we need to add some more lights down here. Oh, we don't have the power lines down through here. Ooh, we can get that over since we smoothed out the walls. Get that over and around. And then we can actually get some lights set up. Standing lamp, we'll put one there. Put one around the corner here. We need some extra ones in here too. It's getting kind of dull. So we'll do two more in there. Need some more in the hospital eventually. Got the TV in there. Is this like Sims on steroids? Uh, sure. Sure. I wouldn't say Sims, but it's, it's, it's definitely on steroids. So here's how this game works, Jay Sims. Everybody has their own attitude, their own, their own being. So they have their own social with everybody. They likes and dislikes who they're friends with. It logs all their social interactions back to a certain day. It logs everything they interact with, combat and otherwise. They have needs and skills and wants. And sometimes they have health problems that you got to take care of and maintain. Uh, Katsumi is fully bionic. We made them a completely bionic person. And what you have to do is you have to survive by surviving the wildlife and the weather and the raids and the bad stuff. And you have to get off the planet. Well, as of right now, there's three ways to get off the planet. You can get off the vanilla way where you build or find a rocket and take off. You can win the royalty DLC way which is becoming a high-ranking royalty person and then and then getting access to a ship via being, you know, holier than thou. And then there's an ideology win DLC where you kind of have to... You're, you're searching for something. And in searching for something, you it's a lot of grinding. You have to... You have to keep showing that you're worthy and keep getting more wealthy and moving on to different maps and... And eventually, you get to find your way out, your salvation. So we're currently doing that one right now. You can run a prison labor camp in The Sims? I don't think so. <laughs> Which is why I think the on steroids comes from. And yeah, TJ, of course. Randy can always change it. But we currently have a bunch of animals that we have. So this game has animal husbandry. And we have an auto slaughter in place. So once we hit a certain amount of animals, our, our pawns go in and cull them. We use their meat to combine with vegetables to make meals for us to eat for nutrition. Um, we have places for us to eat. We got recreation to keep us happy. We got all kinds of stuff. And being able to keep them happy in different ways and everything else. You're sold? Hell yeah, dude. Right now, right now we're producing drugs. We're making a bunch of um, cocaine, which this game calls Yayo. And, and we're currently producing a lot of that to increase our wealth in order to make ourselves more rich. This guy here, his name is Bueller. He has drill arms. We gave him drill arms. That way he can drill faster than anyone else. He currently drills 400% faster than anyone else. This is real speed right here. This is how fast he cuts down blocks. So he can cut off, he can cut like four or 500 blocks in an hour if he tried hard enough. If he goes into the gold, it's gonna take him a little longer because gold has a higher hit points. But yeah, that's that's usually how he goes. We're, play, we're, we're going at 3x speed right now because we're kind of in a lull. We're kind of slow. And we're just using it to kind of just get to the next event, the next quest, the next merchant, the next raid. Right now we're currently taking care of four refugees. It's a, or it was six. It was a sign of uh, charity. And what happens is uh, after they leave, sometimes they give us a gift and they get back on their feet. Sometimes they just die off. Yeah, Jack, they, they used to have the actual name of the drugs in here, but they had to bring it, they had to give it away because, um, they had to get rid of it because it, it would raise the 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 rating of the game and they wanted it to be a lower rating. What happens when he needs to pee? It just comes out the drills. It keeps it cool. Oh my am. It'd get banned in Australia. Exactly. 
So like the weed is called smoke leaf. This is called yayo and things like that. They they they, they kind of gave it slang names and off kilter names in order to keep it not real. And we have a ton of we have 428 ambrosia. Whoa. Ambrosia sells for like 11 a piece. That's like four or five grand there. Okay. Let's get a trader. Let's make some trades. So I always want to keep improving the colony and keep getting better things. We're going to lose that Ambrosia there. Uh, move your ass. Come here and get this. We're going to lose it. It's going away. That has one hit point left. Come on, get it before it goes away. 4, 8, 12, 22. Currently carrying 22. Don't let any of it decay in your hands. Don't let it decay. Get indoors, get indoors. Sweet. All right, that was like $40 that we just saved. So that growing zone's gone. This growing zone's still great. Thank you, Miss Jesse. I see your DM right there. This ambrosia is still good. We've struck silver ore. That's money. Silver ore is literally the currency in this game. <clears throat> so that just got us an extra 431 silver. There goes Kami. This is a normal person mining in, in comparison. You saw how slow they were going compared to Bueller. Biller's just, he's, he's a machine. Oh, there's some components. We need that for building mechanical things. Right now we have a ton of components. We have 136. We use those in our turrets. We use those in our mortars. We use them in our power plants. We have 4,000 granite blocks which is pretty insane there's everybody hauling which is perfect that's green and we don't need to cut away at that so right now we're just cutting a giant tunnel we're looking for ore and things here comes a mad muffalo so check this out uh right now we're in bed it's late at night this muffalo is angry uh it could be because of poor health conditions poor eating Etc. Etc. They're gonna come after us. We're, we're humans, but they can't get to us directly. So they're gonna go through this path. This path. Well, this path has traps, and the traps killed it. Also, these turrets shot at it too, which is kind of cool. So that was a that was a fun little event that happened there. Das Hibbit's under a daze because of his go juice addiction. That's fine. It's to be expected. We have someone else who was under oh no you're keeping your psychite addiction up that's not good man we need to keep you away from that stuff huh. <clears throat> we have 120 herbal medicine we've got 36 regular medicine 400 coke that we can sell we're not gonna be able to smooth that out which is unfortunate raid here comes an event the oba covenant we have people coming after us because they want to kill us. I'm trying to see if anybody is. Nope. I'm trying to see if anybody was part of our old base. That guy right there is kitted out. Look at them. Steel plate armor. All right, we get to put some of our. Some of our defenses to the test. They're attacking immediately. All right. So now we have people that shoot. We have people that are melee. We're going to bring our animals that can into the compound area. And then I am going to assign us to the compound area, except for the people that I'm going to fight with, which I'll give them about an hour to sleep while they come up here and get a little closer. And then I'm going to grab all of you and bring you right here. Shooters! 
So they started a fire. Which is typical of them. They're going to attack our Dryads, which kind of sucks. It's okay, though. We're getting into position. They're going to go through here and die to these traps. Or they might get lured to us, which is great, which is what I want to have happen. And then we're here in our defensive position. We're going to try and kill them as fast as we can. Now, if you notice, we didn't afford them any cover in doing this. Sweet. So they're all running away now because we killed. These are AI. This this game isn't multiplayer like that, unfortunately. Um. Now in Fort. Now we do have a guy over here trying to blow up our our geothermal power plant. Which let's see. Let's unrestrict our people again and our animals. And what I need to do is who's our better constructor in this group? Color? Come here. I want you to repair that. And then we gotta kill this guy. This is manatee. All right, you guys just stop right there and shoot him. Nice. Okay. You repair that, you guys do whatever. So now what happens is um, there's work that you can give them. Prioritizes from left to right. And the very first one is firefighting. So some of these guys are going to come firefight and they're going to knock these, not this fire out that's going, it's currently running a blaze on my power conduit, which I think we're going to lose our power conduit before we can save it, which is fine. It doesn't cost us very much to do that. And on our way down there, we just caught wind of a guy trying to escape and we're going to kill him because we take no prisoners around here. Damn it. Actually, we just, we just literally took a prisoner. Uh, maybe. What's this guy? Uh, psychically dull, body modder, very neurotic, but you're good at, like, stuff. We can make you smart and make you make medicine. How soon till you're dead? Five hours? Crink. Uh, capture them. So we're gonna get some weapons. We're gonna have to cremate these bodies. We have to replace that power conduit, which is fine. Yeah, except for when we take prisoners around here. Well, I mean, we can use them to better our... Better ourselves, obviously. Oh, I am! You think so? Gotcha. Well, thank you for that, my friend. I appreciate it. So now we have a prisoner. We can go in the prisoner tab. We can set what we want to what we want to do with them. Right now, we're going to convert them to our ideology, and then we're going to work on reducing their resistance to recruit them onto our team. But in the meantime, they're just going to sit in prison for a while, and think about what they did wrong. Then our cleanup crew is going to come out here. They're going to clean up, repair some walls and things, reload some guns. And clean up all the dead bodies and stuff. It's a song by Rat. Oh, okay. Sorry. I have failed you. You don't know why you... The why, why, why really funny? Because it was Brian. Brian has a weird cadence about him. He likes to say words really weird, weird, weird. So we rebuilt these traps that they died on. It makes it tricky for us because we got to pick up those dead bodies and not spring those traps. These traps are very dangerous. But uh, hopefully we're smarter than those traps and we're not going to die. But, I mean, we'll see. I've died to less things. This guy's got an infection, which means if we don't treat it in time, he could die. It's in his left arm. Tommy Pulu is treating it. So now it's got a 70% tend, which means the immunity is going to go up and try to outrun the infection part. And if it doesn't, if it gets to where it, it gets close to 90, 95% and we can't, we have to cut off the arm. We have to amputate. But we're probably not going to need to do that. We should be just fine. Did we hit some more steel? We sure did. Hell yeah. So there's some more steel for us. We can never have too much steel. Major break risk. Das Hibbit. Uh, he needs food. He's going through. He's malnourished. 
Uh, he's going to go juice withdrawal. Here's all of our meals organized in the freezer now. So now we can take our pick on what we want to eat. Everything else is behind and around, which is ideal. Now they can go in here, grab some food, go to the dining room, eat. Refugees leaving. All right. Says he won't forget what you've done. All right, bye guys. Our last couple of refugees actually turned on us and tried to kill us. So that's good. You guys have fun. Thanks for hanging out. I am going to take these beds up because this is our hydroponic area. I think I want to build like a, a makeshift barracks for if we get some more refugees in the future. But that was kind of cool. So yeah, you get to see all kinds of stuff. You get to see a raid. Uh, got a turkey there that we can take and do stuff with. We got most of the bodies cleaned up, it looks like. We're missing a couple here. See, this is this is the cremation right here going on. Cremated body. Cooked. Cooked! Quest completed. Beautiful. Beautiful! Guys, I am done. I would go a little longer because it's rim world. But we got a community day happening tomorrow. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. If you're new to the stream, hit that follow button. It's free. We'd love to have you guys a part of the community. Oh my am. This is my schedule now. This is what time I end. Um, we have a community day happening tomorrow at 10 a.m. We're playing community games with you guys. We're probably going to open up with marbles, maybe move to some guardic phone. Uh, maybe do some, some, uh, wh wh who knows? Who knows? But it's going to include you guys, and I want you guys to be a part of it. If you want to reach me offline, where we plan these things, socials, YouTube, Twitter, Discord, sub to the YouTube. We're trying to get partner. We're really, really close. We'd love to have you guys' input. You don't have to watch a single video. Just subscribe to it. There's tons of content if you're ever bored.